Yes, it's true, the new Galaxy's Edge lightsaber that's going to be coming out soon has just been leaked. <gasps> I've never leaked anything before. This is kind of exciting. I have solid information from an employee at one of the Disney parks who told me the next Galaxy's Edge lightsaber that's going to be coming out very soon. When can we expect this to be for sale in the parks? What details did I get about this secret saber? Could this lightsaber release be hinting at changes for a possible Star Wars character? Don't go anywhere, guys. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on my video. This is Finding the Force, where I make videos about anything Star Wars, including theme parks, video games, and especially lightsabers. Gesture it, let's go. Makes you want to duel like Dooku. As always, I will be your host, Obi Dad Kenobi. So please do me a solid, guys. Click that button with the erect thumb that really tells YouTube I make good content. Now that we've gotten all those pleasantries out of the way, let's dig into the juicy stuff. Welcome to all you Disney fans. My first metal lightsaber I ever bought was at Galaxy's Edge. What was it, like almost three years ago? And I've been hooked ever since. And I heard this exciting news today and I really want to share it with all you guys. And just like all good reporters, I'll never disclose my source. So hey guys, you know me. Nothing's more important to me than the magic and fun of surprises. So please, warning, there's lots of other fun videos down in the description for you to enjoy of different sabers and, and Galaxy's Edge topics. So go down there, because I really don't want to ruin the fun or the magic for anyone if you like being surprised. So when you hear the next character lightsaber they're unveiling, this might involve other Star Wars characters. And you'll hear what I mean in a second, so if you're still with me, let's keep going. And of course, just a reminder, this is purely speculation until Disney releases this information firsthand, which I hope they don't do too quickly. Because if they release pictures of this saber like hours after this video, I'm gonna be pretty bummed. Which totally reminds me of the morning I finished a huge project. If you guys like Galaxy's Edge lightsabers, click the link up above, it'll be at the end of the video. I reviewed them all. And when I finally, <laughs> it took me months to make this crazy long review video. And what happens, the same morning I posted the video, Disney announced two new lightsabers. <laughs> we'll just have to find out how long I have the news on this topic until Disney releases their pictures. Which brings me to my next topic. When can we expect these sabers to be in the parks for sale? Come on guys, you know. What big major holiday comes up in the month of May? May the 4th be with you! Two years ago, Disney released on May the 4th the Skywalker box set containing the Skywalker Reforged and the Leia Sabers, which like everyone lost it over. Just like rain and money on eBay. Leave a comment down below if you were like me and you were up at midnight trying to get one of those box sets on Shop Disney just to get like foiled by some glitch on their website. Last year was actually pretty random. I was in Disneyland for Star Wars night and I have my really good buddy Scott Disneyland nurse to thank. Check out his YouTube. He went and picked up sabers they released last May the 4th, which were totally random. They released one at Disneyland, one at Disney World, and it was the yellow Asajj Ventress refocused and the green Luminara Unduli. But this year's, you guys, is gonna be way more epic. All right, guys, it's time to tell you which saber I heard they're going to be releasing from May the 4th. Are you guys ready? Your big hint is that it's arguably my favorite Star Wars character ever. That's right, it's gonna be Grand Jedi Master Yoda's lightsaber. I love this Yoda statue, by the way. It is so amazing. It is like a half scale, perfect replica of our favorite secret Jedi from Dagobah, looking so wise and peaceful. I really feel like Yoda's character completely embodies all of the magic and imagination from Star Wars into one character. By the way, little detail, just today on Tuesday, they released this Yoda magic band. Coincidence? I think not. So Disney releasing Yoda's lightsaber has me with some mixed emotions. I'm feeling a little excited and scared. Why would I be feeling scared, you ask? Have you seen Emperor Palpatine's lightsaber? Just look at that thing. 
as some of you guys probably could already tell, Disney has a knack for kind of enlarging our character's favorite lightsabers. For example, the Cal Kestis. Um, super cool and detailed, just a wee bit on the like foot long sandwich side. By the way, guys, I compared this with other NeoPixel Cal Kestis lightsabers. If you're a Jedi Survivor fan, you're looking forward to it, click the link up above. Yeah. Sounds cool though, right? Am I right? And of course, we can't forget the Qui-Gon Jinn legacy lightsaber that came out not too long ago. Pretty hefty and girthy, but also has some pretty cool ignition and clash effects. So that brings me to the one detail that my source was able to share with me about this lightsaber was kind of something that we might already kind of assume is that it's going to be bigger than a replica size version of his lightsaber, but it's not gonna be so monstrous that it's gonna be funny. So it's somewhere in between, but we kind of assume that, you know, because one thing that we all love about the Galaxy's Edge lightsabers is that you could easily change the different sizes of blades from 26, 32, and 36 inch blades. So all the blades being able to be used in their sabers means the mechanism has to be the same. So it has to be like a certain you know, diameter to fit the blades. This is the lightsaber you guys have been mentioning in the comments of my videos for years, asking for when they're gonna make a Yoda. And that brings me to my next point is, is there something we could be expecting because they're releasing Yoda's lightsaber? Stay with me guys, here's what I was thinking. Now, they also just today or yesterday released on Shop Disney Luke Skywalker's, I think, 40th anniversary legacy lightsaber. They re-released it in a box set. I didn't even know they stopped selling it individually. I don't know. And for all you guys who watch The Book of Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker and Yoda's lightsaber have been two of the most recently seen lightsabers in the Disney Plus Star Wars shows, along with the Darksaber, of course. So could this mean that possibly our favorite little green friend, could he be getting his hands on Yoda's lightsaber coming up in the Mandalorian? Ah! If you couldn't tell, I'm just freaking out thinking about it. And he is super excited about it too. You know, cause we, they, they got the technology nailed out. We've seen uh, reoccurring appearances of Luke in the Book of Boba Fett, which was amazing. So I don't think it's too crazy to think we might see Luke and Grogu holding Yoda's lightsaber before the end of The Mandalorian. Wouldn't Disney probably wanna wait if that were the case until after that episode airs to show, oh, he's meditating. He does this all the time. So it should be interesting to see when Disney discloses this information. And if they don't, I may not be doing uh, leak videos anymore. <laughs> so guys, start up a conversation, join one down in the comments. Will you be picking up Yoda's lightsaber if it's released for May the 4th? And maybe you've already picked up a really awesome, bright, loud NeoPixel lightsaber. Are you still enjoying collecting the Galaxy's Edge lightsabers? So thanks again for joining me guys. Be safe, take care, and have an awesome Star Wars day. What'd you turn on for?